Thanks for watching this video. I'm Kengo Hayashi. I use some of these slides for the lecture of Ilka Taiwan. In this video, I'm talking about training for advanced needle handling. This is the topic of this movie. I talked about the basic of handling the needle in the previous movie, so I'm gonna put emphasis on the different techniques. Needless to say, needle handling is very important in the laparoscopic surgery. Efficient needle handling leads accurate stitches, short operation time, and quick handling troubles. In the case of bleeding or injuring the organs accidentally, you can handle the trouble by suturing. So if you have confidence of lap suturing, you can perform aggressive surgery or radical lymph node dissection. And also, good needle handling leads less irritating and good oral atmosphere. This is the basic position of a needle. Grasping point is one third circle from the tail, and the angle should be approximately 90 degree. I'll show the basic skills of handling a needle. This is a left hand dancing needle. I think this is the most essential technique of needle handling. So first you should grasp a needle with your left hand, and then grasp the string with your right hand, and then rotate the needle. And uh, when you decide the position of the needle, you should grasp the needle with your right hand. So with these techniques, you can uh, handle the needle easily. This is a right hand dancing needle. I think this technique is more difficult than the previous one, but you can handle the needle quickly with this technique. I think the knack of this technique is uh, grasping a needle gently. Not too strong, but not too weak. So some practice is needed. So first, you should grasp a needle with your right hand directly, then grasp a string with your left hand, and then adjust the angle. The soft touching sensation of the right hand needle driver is important. Next, I'll talk about the advanced one. This is right hand dancing needle, but not just rotating the needle. So when you perform the reconstruction after proximal gastrectomy or uh, maybe paradocogenostomy or something, you have to adjust the angle of the needle to the unusual way. So um, this is usual uh, dancing needle. But uh, yeah, you can adjust needle this way. The luck is, uh, as I told before, grasping a needle with the proper level of the force. Not too strong or not too weak. And it's good training to handle the needle delicately. I thought before, it is important to adjust the angle appropriately for the target in some situations. You can adjust the angle by right hand dancing needle or only with your needle driver. I'll show the training movie. And also, adjusting the grasping point appropriately for the target is also important. If you grasp a needle shortly, it is easier to handle the needle. To obtain the efficient needle handling skills, practice is very important. But you know, just simple suturing practice uh, becoming boring actually. 
Recently, this kind of interesting training pad was launched from Japan Polymer Technology. Interesting point of this pad is it has a task to bring this incomplete Chinese character to completion by suturing. I think this kind of training pad is good for keeping the motivation of training. And also, some of my friends have made origami, folding square paper to make brain or airplane or something. You can find some videos on YouTube if you type laparoscopic origami. Actually, I have tried it only for a few times, but it is also good training, I think.